just a quick update on my mini quad design version 2. Wanted to share a few tweaks that I've made and then I'll be following up with a build log as well as a video that shows how to tune this guy for optimal performance. So I went ahead and made these cutouts a little bit bigger and now you'll notice that there are four tabs instead of two. Now this was actually a suggestion from Zookie. You may remember Zookie from previous videos of some of his 3D printed quad parts and designs but he suggested that I add a couple more tabs just so you can have more surface area to bond both sides of the plate together. So I thought that was a good suggestion. And then I just introduced some simple landing gear that just slides in there, you glue it into place. For those who have asked how this compares in size to my previous version, now I apologize I don't have a good print of the original version here, but you'll get the gist of it. So put that down, the new version, and put this over it you'll notice that this is actually the same length motor to motor as the version one of this frame. And one goal I had in mind, this thing has basically 10 pieces, your two plates, your four arms, and then your four motor mounts. So I wanted to minimize the number of parts, and in this case we have six. And just real quick, I wanted to show you the assembly. So just have some medium CA. I'm just going to work that around each edge here. I'll hit it with a little bit of accelerator and come down here and do this side as well. Then I'll just flip it upside down and just drop a little bit of CA in those gaps. Hit it with some accelerator. And now our frame is assembled. That's not really going to go anywhere. Nice and solid. And then for the landing gear you can see have this last one to do. I'll go ahead and show you how I do that. Basically that gear is just going to slide right there in that hole. And I'll pull that out just a little bit about halfway. Then just one little drop of CA in that hole. Let that get in there. Pull it in and out a little bit. Rotate it. Let it sit flush. And then hit it with a little bit of accelerator. And then that's nice and secure. Here it is assembled with a multi wee board. And like I said, I'll do a build video soon, but let's go ahead and take it up in the air and see how it flies. We're flying in stable mode with the multi-wee. 3S LiPo, so it has a lot of thrust. Oh yeah, that's nice. Flies great. I've done a little bit of gain tuning, so I'll definitely share that in an upcoming video of how to get it tuned and nice and responsive. And if you're wondering what that thing hanging is, I actually had an XT60 connector on there just because I had a higher milliamp hour battery that I was testing with, but this thousand milliamp it's just about perfect. So just wanted to share that update on Rev2 of this mini quad project. The next few days I'll get this posted on Thingiverse, get the build log up on Garage Pilots. There are a few tweaks I'm going to make to this frame over time, so definitely going to be a continual work in progress, but really enjoying the way it flies, very durable responsive and I think everything that you'd appreciate in a mini quad setup. So thank you guys for following along. Please post any questions or comments below. Until next time, thanks for watching.